God bless you, greetings, and good day. We thank you for joining us at www.westdurhambaptist.org and also on our social media app outlets uh, via Instagram, uh, uh, YouTube, and also Facebook. We thank you for joining us today in our worship broadcast, and we pray that something will be said and done to encourage you during your daily walk during this time of this international global pandemic. Know that we are bringing worship to you. So as we go into worship today, join us at home. Join us if you still are, still are at work, knowing that God is a God that inhabits the praises of his people. Again, thank you for worshiping with us. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord, and our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Well, we are celebrating God on this morning, and we thank God for a time to come and worship virtually. We're soon to come back in. Just two more weeks, we're coming back in person. And so we thank God for this season, this time of online and virtual ministry. And so we welcome you now to worship with us in spirit and in truth. And so here, as we give our call to worship, we respond with this doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Our prayer is simply, Spirit of the living God, fall fresh. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh. We pray now in Jesus' name, and we all say amen. We hear now the word of God coming from 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. We will read from verse 7 to verse 18. Reading from the King James Version, usually I read from mod a more modern translation, but I hear the language of old. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, jars of clay, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed, always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus and the life also of Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Verse 11. For we which are alive are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus Christ might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. We have the same spirit of faith according as it is written, I believe, and therefore have I spoken, we also believe, and therefore speak. Knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise us up also by Jesus and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sake, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many rebound to the glory of God, for which cause we faint not. 
But through our outward man, though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For our light afflictions, which is but for a moment, worketh a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. The word of God for the people of God. And we say thanks be to God. Join us now at home in this time of praise and worship.
window, if you will, to this verse. Not necessarily the meaning. The focus on <laughs> the fact that it's not just merely that we go through afflictions or have afflictions or experience tribulation. But what the writer reminds us is full of a moment. That's what I want to talk about on this moment. Managing your moments. Managing your moments. I know y'all are tired of me giving y'all song lyrics and songs before I preach. I'm not tired of it because that's how my mind thinks. That's what happens when you have a preacher, singer, or a, no, I'm not a singer that preaches. Come on, because we have too much of that. I can't hear nobody pray. But the one who has music in my, in my blood. And, and so even in my studying, even in my pre preparation, I hear these songs of uh, and and y'all be folk, excuse me, because again, it's a non sacred song, but I found the help in it. Here, here we have the lyrics that were written uh, in preparation for the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul, South Korea. South Korea. They were written uh, so that Whitney Houston could perform this song. She did not author the song, but uh, two uh, gentlemen wrote this song, and then again, it was sung live at the opening ceremony of the 1992 Summer Olympics in Barcelona. Again, we're preparing for the Olympics again, so I guess this is appropriate, but each day I live, I want to be a day to give the best of me. I'm only one, but not alone. My finest day is yet unknown. I broke my heart for every game to taste the sweet. I face the pain. I rise and fall. Yet through it all, this much remains. I want, y'all know the lyrics, don't you? One moment in time. When I'm more than I thought I could be, when all of my dreams are a heartbeat away and the answers are all up to me, give me one moment in time when I'm racing with destiny. Then, then in that one moment of time, well, I hope y'all can see this was written for us today, I will feel, I will feel feel eternity. Mm. Well, that leaves us with this heavy question then. What exactly is a moment? The definition of a moment is so vague, it is almost fleeting. It is simply defined as a very brief period of time. A moment is not a second, it is not a minute or an hour a day, a week, a month, a year, a decade, or even a century. It is an increment of time all in and of itself. And watch this. And, and it is not that we miss this by falling prey into other thoughts and theories. This is a, not about a theory of presentism uh, where we just simply focus on the right now without looking back at our past or preparing for our future. But it is, by us, by, it is for us to understand and appreciate, watch this, the fragility of a moment. How fragile a short time of frame, a short time frame of period, a short time in history can be. If you're like me, I want to live a long life, but the reality of the matter is, if I live to be 104, 105, it'll still be a mighty moment in time. I think y'all can hear what I'm saying. So Maya Angelou said it like this. I have great respect for the past. If you don't know where you have come from, Maya said, you don't know where you're going. She continues, I have respect for the past, but I'm a person of the moment. I'm here and I do my best to be completely centered in the place I'm at. Then I go forward to the next place. Don't you miss this moment? Because there are so many people right now in this, I use the term again, 
this quasi-post-pandemic space where, where now even in California and other states, they're now going backwards on the mass, indoor mass mandates because of those 70% of America that we're moving towards that number has been vaccinated. There is still a large number of people that have not yet gotten the vaccine. And so, watch this, now the rates of a, 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 a persons contracting COVID are shooting up for young adults, don't y'all miss me, and then children. And so because of that, we're finding ourselves fighting even in this moment, this small moment that of course did not catch scientists by surprise. Uh, if they had listened to Obama and his task force, y'all remember this, amen, some years ago, who had put a pandemic task force in place only in a moment by somebody that did not have the skill and wisdom and knowledge of history come here, amen, at 1918 Spanish flu to know that pandemics come and they go and you have to prepare for a storm before it rains. And so here it is, we, we're reminded, watch this, that, that these moments, that these small increments of time must be managed. And as T.J. says, then maximize. Well, I'm going somewhere. Because even as we are in this time, over these, this year and a half, pushing toward two years, when it feels like it's endless, where people now have COVID burnout, they got vaccination uh, uh, communication burnout, they got social distancing burnout, they got, I don't like you for real, I just been waiting for the social distancing because I don't want you in my car, don't have to burn out, I can't hear nobody pray. They got all kinds of burnout. And watch this, there were people, don't you miss this, that were burnt out before church and that
somebody pray. And with all of the issues and ills, it can seem as if we are stuck in a fight with our present moment. And my God, when you add on physical sickness, with physical pain, can I pause right here to help somebody that's listening at home, that's going through trouble in your body, the Lord God is still in the healing of business. I'm going to deal with the text, but I feel the Holy Ghost telling somebody even with pain in your body, don't you let go of your faith. You still trust the same God that we come to the communion table for. The same God that is our healer is still healing today. I don't want to be a part of a faith system that says that healings and miracles ceases. I still believe God is a way maker. I still believe God has the ability to the big house, but I go 
be scattered. That's why I don't worry about folk who put their mouth and talk about me. Because I understand everybody that tries to tear down your name. God then can turn that around. And God will allow, watch this, come here David, your enemies that have a place at your table. So God is not going to allow you to go through and not have a comeback. I'm just about there. But then secondly, you got to take time to check every time. I know y'all said, Pastor, y'all forgot how to talk. Take time hmm, to check every time. He says, listen, wow, it works for us to work seeking weight and uh, uh, an, an, an eternal weight of glory. Yes, sir. I'm going to give it back to that eternal piece. Uh, hmm. While we look, here it is. Not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. I'm almost at my time. Wow. Wow. Our afflictions are working for us. You gotta take time to check every time. I'm not looking, look, watch this, just at what I went through. I've got to look at every time I went through. God brought me out. Yes. I know y'all don't see it. <laughs> but every time, because you're here, I'm going to say this again, you are here. Which means you outlive the, the lie, the pain, yeah. the divorce, the surgery, the cancer, the layoffs. I need y'all to hear what I'm saying. You outlive the rejection levels. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Only so you can stand at a place where you can now take your own inventory, understanding I'm not looking at the temporal things in this moment because what God is preparing for me is something that is far more exceeding in eternity. I need y'all to understand that. Therefore, what I'm building is not just hope in a car, but hope in a God that gives me mobility. See what I'm saying? I, I'm not just looking for God that has a track record of giving me keys to a house, but a God that does what I'm going to talk about next week. I can go to who the Bible says that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow. Before. And I've got some folk in here that are saying, yes, we understand it's been rough during this pandemic, but some of us are already living in a perpetual pandemic. Uh, Y'all about to miss a good place to shout. Some folk, uh, come on, somebody didn't know what to do, uh, but they didn't have a job. Uh, but there's somebody missing that understands uh, what it's like to have a weak card uh, and not care who knows about it. Uh, there's somebody in here that Brought me through. And I heard 
let the whole cup around that deal to do you. They will say it like this. That every time I turn around, God keeps on making a way. And that's all I wanted to tell you. As I move to my last point, that you got to take a time to check every time. To tell God thank you because of the last time should have been the last. The last time you were sick, it should have been the last time we saw you. But the God that we serve showed up in your sick room and allowed your golden moments to roll on a little while longer. And if you have a loved one that you can call on the phone today, you ought to take the time to check the time. have a mother you can call her. You want to take the time up to check the time and tell God thank you. If you have a father you can call her. You want to take the time up to check the time. And even if mama and daddy are gone, you can look back over your life and tell God thank you that the songwriter was right. That when my mother and my father have a forsaken me, that doesn't mean they leave me behind. But that means they no Go take me up. I told you to let your moments work for you. Take the time to check every time. But finally, focus your moments on what really matters. The one thing that we have learned from this pandemic is there has been a whole lot of stuff in church that we really didn't need. And I got a witness in here. And we learned how to look. Essential. And I'm not telling nobody that what you did it didn't matter. But when you are in a place where you have to do the best you can, you focus on what you have in that moment. And I came to tell somebody we gotta learn how to focus on what really matters. Because of the writer here says, I don't have time, yes, God, to focus on. I've got another home. I've got a building that is not made by hands. That is eternal in the heavens. And I know a heaven talk don't shock the church anymore. But I'm so glad that when this life is over, I've got a home on the other shore. Is there anybody in here that can hear that quartet song? That said, when you see. Crying and struggling, know that I'm sending over my timber because there's a home, a dream that I dream of, of a heavenly home, and I know that I'm going there soon. It may be morning, night, or noon. I don't know just how soon, but I thank God I'm sending up my timber. You gotta take time to take the moment. And when you can manage a moment, if you can maximize a moment, then you can take the time to live your hands and declare, I'm glad to be in the service. Is there anybody on this line that will maximize this moment? And hear what Grandmama said. He didn't have to. One more time, can I go higher? And so we understand that when we go through that for the moments in this life, preparing us for another moment, that when we serve God down here, it's getting ready for us, getting us ready to be in God's presence of I go be in Second Corinthians. The word of God says, now this, I say, brothers and sisters, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither does corruption inherit corruption. But behold, I show you a mystery that we shall not all sleep. But here it is, we shall, we shall, we shall. Of 
God. And the trumpet shall sound. And the dead shall be raised and corruptible. And we shall, I said we shall, I said we shall be changed. I've got somebody in the room that can tell God thank you that I
again. God be with you. Listen, we want to thank you for being faithful in your giving. If you're not a giver, if you're not a tiger, at the end you will see. Just stay on the broadcast. You will see whether it's on Facebook or YouTube. You'll see or you're on our website ways that you can give. And we thank you, for sure, for being consistent and faithful and doing that. So we pray the Lord blesses you. We're going to put this in the picture. But if you're at home, don't get your swag, don't get your sway on. As we celebrate God, we're going to back in just a few more days. And so we say this. So we gather again.